Dementia, dementia is classified with neurocognitive disorders in 11th revision of International Classification of Diseases. Neurocognitive disorders are acquired conditions characterized by primary clinical deficits in cognitive functioning, this, grouping includes delirium, mild neurocognitive disorder, amnestic disorder, dementia. General diagnostic requirements for dementia, 1, marked impairment in two or more cognitive domains relative to that expected given the individual's age and general premorbid level of neurocognitive functioning, which represents a decline from the individual's previous level of functioning. 2. Memory impairment is present in most forms of dementia, but neurocognitive impairment is not restricted to memory and may be present in other cognitive domains such as executive functioning, attention, language, social cognition and judgment, psychomotor speed, and visuoperceptual or visuospatial functioning. 2. Evidence of neurocognitive impairment is based on information obtained from the individual, informant, or clinical observation, and substantial impairment in memory performance as demonstrated by standardized neuropsychological-slash-cognitive testing or, in its absence, another quantified clinical assessment. 3. Behavioral changes, for example, changes in personality, disinhibition, agitation, irritability, may also be present and, in some forms of dementia, may be the presenting symptom. 4. The symptoms are not better accounted for by disturbance of consciousness or altered mental status, seizure, traumatic brain injury, stroke, medication, delirium, substance intoxication, substance withdrawal or another mental disorder. 5. The symptoms result in significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. Categories of Dementia 1. 6D80 Dementia due to Alzheimer's disease, 6D80.0 with early onset, 6D80.1 with late onset, 6D80.2 mixed type, with cerebrovascular disease, 6D80.3 mixed type, with other nonvascular etiologies, 6D80.Z onset unknown or unspecified. 6D81 Dementia due to cerebrovascular disease. 3. 6D82 Dementia due to Lewy body disease. 4. 6D83 Frontotemporal Dementia. 5. 6D84 Dementia due to psychoactive substances including medications, 6D84.0 Dementia due to use of alcohol, 6D84.1 Dementia due to use of sedatives, hypnotic or anxiolytics, 6D84.2 Dementia due to use of volatile inhalants, 6D84.Y Dementia due to other specified psychoactive substance. 6. 6D85 Dementia due to diseases classified elsewhere, this includes 6D85.0 Dementia due to Parkinson's disease. 6D85.1 Dementia due to Huntington disease. 6D85.2 Dementia due to exposure to heavy metals and other toxins. 6D85.3 Dementia due to human immunodeficiency virus. 6D85.4 Dementia due to multiple sclerosis. 6D85.5 Dementia due to prion disease. 6D85.6 Dementia due to normal pressure hydrocephalus. 6D85.7 Dementia due to injury to the head. 6D85.8 Dementia due to pellagra. 6D85.9 Dementia due to Down syndrome. 6D85.Y Dementia due to other specified diseases classified elsewhere. 7. 6D8Y Dementia, other specified cause. 8. 6D8Z Dementia, unknown or unspecified cause. In each of the above dementia categories two types of specifiers may apply. 1. Severity specifiers as mild, moderate, or severe. 2. 
behavioral or psychological disturbances in dementia specifiers, this includes psychotic symptoms in dementia, mood symptoms in dementia, anxiety symptoms in dementia, apathy in dementia, agitation or aggression in dementia, disinhibition in dementia, wandering in dementia. Severity specifier severity of dementia can be rated as mild, moderate or severe, according to the degree of neurocognitive and functional impairment, and capacity for independence in activities of daily living. Severity is rated based on objective clinical examination and information provided by an informant who has sufficient contact with the patient, such as family member or a caregiver. Mild Dementia Individuals with mild dementia may be able to live independently, but some supervision and or support is often required. However, they can take part in community or social activities without help and may appear unimpaired to those who do not know them well. Judgment and problem solving are typically impaired, but social judgment may be preserved, depending on dementia etiology. The individual may have difficulty making complex decisions, making plans, and or handling finances, for example, calculating change, paying bills. Moderate Dementia Individuals with moderate dementia require supports to function outside the home and only simple household tasks are maintained. Individuals with moderate dementia have difficulties with basic activities of daily living, such as dressing and personal hygiene. Moderate dementia is often characterized by significant memory loss. Judgment and problem solving are typically significantly impaired, and social judgment is often compromised. The individual has increasing difficulty making complex or important decisions and is often easily confused. The individual may have difficulty communicating with individuals outside the home without caregiver assistance. Socializing is increasingly difficult as the individual may behave inappropriately, for example, in disinhibited, with associated behavior changes, for example, calling out, wandering, or hallucinations. The difficulties are often obvious to most individuals who have contact with the individual. Severe Dementia Severe dementia is typically characterized by severe memory impairment, but this varies according to the etiology. There is often total disorientation for time and place. The individual is often completely unable to make judgments or solve problems. Individuals may have difficulty understanding what is happening around them. Individuals are fully dependent on others for basic personal care in activities such as for bathing, toileting and feeding. Urinary and fecal incontinence may emerge at this stage. Specifiers for behavioral or psychological disturbances in dementia. Behavioral and psychological disturbances are common in dementia. Examples of such symptoms include apathy, mood disturbances, hallucinations, delusions, irritability, agitation, aggression and sleep changes. Typically, these symptoms are more frequent and impairing in moderate and severe forms of dementia, although this varies by dementia etiology. Behavioral and psychological disturbances may be present in early stages of dementia, such as in frontotemporal dementia, and may be more prominent than neurocognitive symptoms. Specifiers for behavioral or psychological disturbances in dementia should be used when, in addition to the neurocognitive and other disturbances characteristic of dementia, the current clinical picture includes behavioral or psychological symptoms that are severe enough to represent a focus of clinical intervention. 6D86.0 Psychotic Symptoms in Dementia The current clinical picture includes clinically significant delusions or hallucinations. 6D86.1 Mood Symptoms in Dementia The current clinical picture includes clinically significant mood symptoms such as depressed mood, elevated mood, or irritable mood. 6D86.2 Anxiety Symptoms in Dementia The current clinical picture includes clinically significant symptoms of anxiety or worry. 6D86.3 Apathy in Dementia the current clinical picture includes clinically significant indifference or lack of interest. 6D86.4 Agitation or Aggression in Dementia 
The current clinical picture includes 1. Clinically significant excessive psychomotor activity accompanied by increased tension, and or 2. Hostile or violent behavior. 6D86.5 Disinhibition in Dementia The current clinical picture includes clinically significant lack of restraint manifested in disregard for social conventions, impulsivity, and poor risk assessment. 6D86.6 Wandering in Dementia The current clinical picture includes clinically significant wandering that puts the person at risk of harm. When cognitive difficulties consistent with normal aging are present and clinically relevant, the symptom code MB21.0 age-associated cognitive decline may be used. Onset and course of symptoms varies considerably by dementia etiology. 1. Dementia in children or young adults is rare, and often caused by neuronal surge lipofuscinosis NCL, a group of lysosomal storage disorders. 2. Dementia due to Down syndrome occurs in about 50% or more of individuals with Down's syndrome, and typically emerges after the fourth decade. Most dementias are progressive, for example, Alzheimer disease, Lewy body disease, and frontotemporal dementia, other forms are reversible, such as dementia related to nutritional or metabolic abnormalities, stable, such as some cases of dementia due to cerebrovascular disease, or rapidly progressing, for example, pre and disease dementia. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.